Well, I was born and bred in Ghana. And somewhere along the line, I did have my own kind of problems. I did endure some breakdown, you know, and probably because I was in, I was smoking, mixing up with the right, wrong crowd. Got myself into so many different troubles and that was actually what my life was all about. All I knew was just drugs and, you know, petty crime, little things, anything that could just get me by, I got involved in and got into a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. But then obviously I got released and as I came back into the community, I just couldn't relate to the community. Society wasn't kind of accepting me and I just got kind of back with my old ways again and old friends and just thought that was all I could do. And then I realised I was even better off in prison because at least I could relate to people. I could talk to people, like people who kind of, I felt respected by people in there and I felt more at ease and could identify with a lot of people. And that was it. I just kind of got depressed. I just got into the more serious stuff, smoking anything, handling anything, just that and everything. You can, you know, when I say, I, I mean, I, you get me, I was, I'm not glamorizing it. I mean, now I look back and I really wish I never, but that's what's made me today because obviously I just had to go through what I had to go through and then ended up back in prison again with handling and drugs. And this time it was like a bigger issue and I was just worried. I didn't know what to do. Education did help me personally. That's where I can say my support came from. You know, I wasn't told what to do. I wasn't just given programs to follow, but I was educated to understand myself first, to be able to accept and take responsibility. I'm aware of the impact it's had in the community, on individuals, on people, on my family, on friends, on myself. And you only gain that, to me, by educating people, making people understand themselves. I wasn't left alone. Even though it was my initiative, things that I wanted to do, I was consulted on them, I was supported around them, but yet they worked together. It's up to you, the individual, and the trust that you are able to build with the people that are supporting you. That is the most important thing. As a volunteer, most of the people I was volunteering with had lived experiences. I could identify it with them, and when we were working together, we work with people who are actually going through the stuff that I had been through. So the more I helped that, the more I helped myself. And the more I benefited, as much as they benefited too. I think that was the most important aspect of my recovery, my journey. Being able to, to, to know that there was something good about me, myself, the, the feel-good factor. Being accepted. I mean, it's, listen, people-powered change. Period, you know, because there's nothing like being in control of your own life and whatever supports you to take that back that control is the key to success. I mean, it's amazing, you know, what you can achieve when just one person believes in you. I had tears running down when I got that freedom. I knew that I was on the road to my recovery.